Hey guys, Josh here, and in today's video, once again, I would like to take a look at some upcoming farming games. However, this time, because Halloween is coming up soon and I feel like doing something a little bit different, I'm going to be featuring in this video three upcoming farming games that are magic related, whether you play as a witch, wizard, or just living in some sort of magical world. None of these games are available yet, unfortunately, but you can hopefully find something new to add to your wishlist and play it for Halloween next year. The first game on our list today is called Little Witch in the Woods. In this one, you play as Ellie, who's a little witch, obviously, and in order to graduate from an apprentice witch to a formal witch, she has to go to a village and help their residents. To do this, you'll have to put into practice everything that you've learned at witch school, such as gathering ingredients to make potions and then using these potions to solve the different problems that you'll encounter. You'll also get to explore the world and interact with unique and mysterious creatures and so much more. In this game, there's not only a relationship system where you have to talk and give gifts to villagers to befriend them, but you can also befriend a wide selection of cats. It looks like these cats will be located in different places around the world and each will have a different personality and appearance. I'm not sure if they will give you any perks or items, but it seems like they'll want to spend more time with you and possibly follow you around if they like you enough. One thing I like about this game is just how adorable the main character Ellie looks, but the world as a whole looks very cute and cozy and everything is just so detailed. It seems like there's quite a lot of different places you can explore as well. And yeah, it just looks like a very, very beautiful game. And Little Witch in the Woods is being developed by South Korean studio Sunny Side Up and is planned to release on Steam sometime in the first half of 2022. Actually, the demo of this game has been available a couple of times this year, such as during Tokyo Game Show and Steam Next Fest last June. But for some reason, I always seem to miss it by a day or two. I'm always just a tiny bit too late to play the demo. So if you guys have had the chance to play it, I would love to hear your thoughts on it in the comments. But of course, if there's another demo coming up soon or whenever the game releases, I'll be making sure to feature it on this channel. Alright, so the next game on our list is a little bit different because in this one, you are still attending wizarding school. And I think if you're a Harry Potter fan, you will probably be very, very interested in this game called Kitori Academy. In this game, you'll be attending an academy at which you'll go to various classes in order to train your magical skills and learn how to brew potions, grow vegetables, catch spells to challenge the curse that lurks in the world. So it seems like there's some kind of story going on here as well. And you'll have to befriend other apprentice wizards in between your different classes and explore the academy with them in order to uncover the secrets of the academy. Looking at the footage of this game and just reading the description it really reminds me of the old Harry Potter games and it just brings back so many memories and gets me so excited. Also this game has character customization so you'll get to look however you'd like. You can change the appearance of your character but also the outfit, the uniform you're gonna be wearing. And not only that, you'll also get to customize your cat that will follow you around as your spirit companion. So I'm not too sure what the cat's gonna do, but just like in The Little Witch in the Woods, you'll have to create a strong bond with your cats and you'll get to give them gifts, pet them, play with them, and I'm sure they're gonna help you in one way or another, but if not, they're just really cute and it's nice to have some cats. And after your classes, you'll also get to explore outside of the academy where you can catch bugs, do some fishing, find ingredients for cooking. There's also a little bit of farming and you can also just relax because this world looks so bright and beautiful. And that's another reason why I'm very excited for this game is that recently we have not seen that many 3D games in this genre. We see a lot of like 2D games and like pixel art games. Uh, so. I'm just very happy to see a 3D game, which makes it really stand out from the other games and it simply looks so beautiful and I can't wait to fully immerse myself into this magical world. There's no release date for Kitori Academy yet, but it will be coming soon and it's coming out on both Steam and Nintendo Switch, so I know that's gonna please a lot of people. And I'm gonna try to get my hands on the two versions so I can compare which one runs better, but yeah, I'm glad to see it's coming out for the Nintendo Switch as well. 
And the last game on our list today is probably the lesser known out of the three games, but it has just as much potential. It's called Brookhaven and it is being developed by Little Amethyst, a solo developer from North Carolina. In this game, a wizard has trapped you into a storybook where you find the magical town of Brookhaven and this town is filled with mystery. Of course, you're gonna have to get used to your new life there and you'll have to learn how to use magic, make some friends and eventually maybe find a way to escape this world unless you really enjoy your life there and you want to stay there. But Brookhaven is filled with 80 different mythical creatures that you'll have to learn how to fight in multiple different dungeons. And you'll do that by learning some different spells and using your blacksmithing skills to craft new weapons. There's also a tailoring skill to craft some armor. So it seems like there's going to be a lot of exploration and fighting lots of different creatures. But there's also a community of friendly and unique characters who might seem a bit strange to you at first and it seems like some villagers can transform into creatures like bats or werewolves but apparently once you get to know them you can become their friend or maybe even romance them and start a family so that's one part of the game i'm really looking forward to just discovering all of these quirky characters and getting to know them you'll also get to customize your character and your home as usual, when you start your farm will be filled with rocks and trees, but you'll be able to clear the area to grow crops, which will be used in cooking, alchemy, as well as to help you completing some quests and befriending villagers. You will also raise animals, catch bugs, do some fishing, and everything you would expect from a farming sim, but with a mysterious magical twist to it. This game looks a bit darker and mysterious than the other games on this list, which will make it a perfect fit to play around Halloween, I think. But it's actually scheduled to release on Steam in February 2022, just a few months from now, so it's probably the first game on this list that we're gonna get to play, and I'm definitely looking forward to it. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. So these are three magic farming games that I'm looking forward to in the next year. If you could cast a spell right now and play one of these three games, which one would you pick? For me, I think I would pick Tori Academy because as I said, we don't have that many 3D farming games. And the whole idea of just like being at a magic school is so different from what we've seen in other games as well. So I feel like it's definitely going to be a very unique experience. So my pick would be Tori Academy. But let me know guys your thoughts in the comments, click like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this and I'll see you all in the next video.